have a lot of stuff to get through. This is going to be crazy. We've got some stuff and we've got some more things packed away. This is gonna be a huge haul, okay? I hope you guys are ready. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new here, my name is Bells and today we've got a long awaited, highly requested autumn winter haul. For the last several weeks, I've been trying to look for pieces that will really add to my wardrobe and really be quite thoughtful in what I think that I need for my wardrobe, what I think that you guys would really appreciate in your wardrobe, how to build it, everything. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So let me just tell you that I think I love almost everything I bought. I really think so. I haven't tried everything on, but I love everything I bought. I'm gonna start with little bits of accessories or random pieces that I picked up, and then we're gonna get into the pieces such as Mango Zara and Netta Porter, which is where I splurged on the most. So let's start off with a set that I've been really, really loving. If you guys already know, I'm quite a huge fan of the replica Mason Margiela fragrances. I have got By the Fireplace. If you watched my perfume collection, you're already familiar with this one. And recently, I also picked up the Jazz Club. So you guys can see the detailing there. It's really, really beautiful. I love the packaging of these. Sorry, I'm gonna spray it on myself just so I can explain it to you guys. I feel like these two fragrances are perfect for autumn, winter. I've really had this for a year now. Um, this screams to me very warm, very spicy scent. So if you like this, you'd really love it. Um, this one is a more woody sweet so whichever you prefer might be fitted to you i think overall i still love by the fireplace i think this is still a winner for me but this new jazz club it gives me yeah warm sexy very autumn very fall very autumnal another scent that might be similar to this one would be the pacaraban olympia one if you're or if you're already familiar with this one this is basically in the same family so love them so i couldn't start off without showing you guys like my favorite autumnal fragrance you guys know me i love my scents so a brand i recently discovered is panjaya Jaya, Pan Jaya, I really hope I'm saying it correctly. But they basically focus on recyclable, sustainable clothing. I know that if one product is sold, they build a tree or a store tree or, let me go on the Instagram just to make sure I'm talking about the right thing because sometimes I'd be really be waffling. One tree is planted, protected or restored by every product they sell. So I really like that about them. So I picked up a tracksuit, basically hoodie and some jogging bottoms. It's basically like so, this is what it looks like. I got, I believe this is the stone color and I like how it says on it, this hoodie is made from recycled and organic cotton mix. And then at the back it says, Pangea. So when I tell you guys I've been living in this tracksuit, they have a range on their website. This one spoke to me the most and I'm so happy I picked it because it goes with almost everything in my wardrobe. I picked a small in the hoodie and a medium in the bottoms, but I think I'm a small all over. So if you're smaller than me, I'm like a eight to 10 in clothes. So if you're smaller than me, please go down to an extra small because these are very oversized. I'm gonna insert some pictures of me wearing it. I wore it with my mango jacket that I bought last year and they worked perfectly together and you know what's so funny I went away to Italy with um, Patricia Bright um, not too long ago I've just been back and she was wearing the exact same hoodie and um, jogging bottoms and we were both telling each other like we're gonna buy more colors because it is really really good quality it's expensive I'm not gonna lie it's pricey I think I spent like 200 for the jogging bottoms and the hoodie but the quality has been amazing I've wa washed it already like three times quality still there so so I pr I'm pretty sure I'm gonna buy another color. I think I might go for like black or maybe a lighter color because I, I just find that all my hoodies just don't really last throughout the years. I'm always changing. So I'm really hoping that this is something that will stay with me. So what I've actually also been liking with the hoodie, especially the jogging bottoms, is this checkered shirt. I actually got this from weekday. I was looking on weekday what to buy. I didn't know, I didn't find anything that really fit me other than this checkered shirt. And you guys can already see the colors already up my street. I was just like, I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. I got this in a large. Um, I can't remember the price, but it will be up on the screen. I've already worn it out. I'll insert the picture here, and I wore it with the Pangea jogging bottoms and a white top, very simple. But yeah, I think it's also an autumnal piece I'll be getting a lot of wear out of. Next random piece I got are some leather trousers from House of CB. Love, love, love these trousers. 
they fit so well on me. I saw Connor Walker wearing them, the owner of um, House of CB for a while, and she was like, coming soon, coming soon, and as soon as they, I knew they were here, I bought them, I got them with quickness. They're not that cheap, but the quality is amazing. They fit really good. I got mine in a size small, so I think actually you could size down with these just to make sure you get the right fit because they are quite roomy and they are quite stretchy, so I think you'll get good wear out of this. I've already like posted a picture in them on Instagram, so I'm gonna insert them here, but they just fit amazing, like amazing, not a single complaint. I really, really believe in just spending a lot, of, a bit more money on just key pieces, like a good pair of leather trousers, and just taking care of them really, really well, because I bought some from Zara last year for £129, and I accidentally put them in the wash with a bunch of my other trainers, about, sorry, trainers, a bunch of my other clothes, and they wrinkled, and yeah, that's my lesson learned. Just with these type of trousers, please make sure you hand wash them, don't put them in the wash hand wash them please I also ordered from a naked wardrobe let me open this up I try to make sure I open things properly so I can actually return I'm usually like the laziest person when it comes to returning things but listen I need my money I got it in a small wasn't too sure how it would fit I think it's I think it's gonna fit me fine actually oh this is perfect is it Maybe I could go up to a medium. I think I, I think I couldn't order medium. Medium was all sold out. But um, let me sit there. But yeah, I think if I do go a size bigger, it's gonna look too bulky on me. So maybe small fits. I'm gonna do a better cutaway so you guys can see it better. But it fits good. I'm just the sleeves are a bit short. Or maybe you're not really meant to have it all the way to the sleeves, so it's kind of meant to be like balloon-ish. Though. I don't know. I don't know. I need I need some more time with this jacket. I need some more time with it. I think that is everything from my random bits and pieces that I bought. Now let us get into this mango package. Let's get into this mango package. Oh, I need to open it. So the first thing I bought were like these sunglasses, which is quite random. Let me just open them. I've already tried them on. I think they're too small for my head. I don't really know. If I can even return these because I've already opened the packet. Mm. Yeah, I think these are these frames are too small for my head. It's a no from me. I think it was like, let me check, it was like 15 pounds. But yeah, I was trying to go for like the Bottega, Bottega Veneta um, sunglasses. I thought I could get a knockoff of these, but they're way too small for me. The price is not on here. Okay, that was a little bit of a disappointing one. Anywho, okay, the next thing I got was like a beret, like a hat. Oh, because of the way the, sun, the sunglasses went, I don't know how this hat is gonna go. It looks quite big, it's, it looks like it's big enough for my head. <laughs> um, is it? I mean, maybe with long hair I could do it, you know? I'm like trying to encourage myself. If my hair was longer, I think I could do it. I think I could pull it off. You know what, I'm keeping it. I can, I can make it work, I just don't know what I'm doing right now. I need like a mirror to like, sort it out. I'm gonna try it out. Listen, no, I'm keeping it. It fits my head and it fits my wig, which is really important as well. But it's very autumnal. It's giving me Gossip Girl vibes. It's giving me Blair Waldorf. Next, I got this creamish cardigan, like beige color. I got this in a small. I thought it'd be really nice to layer with. I like, I think I like the idea of wearing it alone and maybe with like a necklace like mine that I've got on right now, making sure the fluff doesn't get on me. But yeah, no, I think it's really simple and I've seen people wear these cardigans really cute with some jeans, some trainers, very cute, casual, but still put together. And then I picked up this t-shirt. I picked up this t-shirt. I like the lines. It gives me very your dad's shirt that you're wearing and making look cute. I've seen a lot of people style this. This actually does look a bit big. What size did I get this in? I really should have got a small. I really should have got a small. Yeah, this should go down a size because this is like a dress for me. Could I still make it work? Maybe springtime, but I don't know for autumn. I was expecting, I was wanted this with like some jeans, nice skinny jeans, nice cute heels. I don't know. Um, hmm. 
I've really got like body dysmorphia because sometimes I really be thinking I'm bigger than I actually am. Why did I get a medium? Oh, last but not least from Mango. I don't know what it is with their coats and jackets, but they always hit the nail. They always hit the nail for me. Oh, this jacket. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna have to wear this jacket for you guys to actually understand and see why I got this jacket. This is like, I'm not trying to buy any new jackets, so don't expect a coat haul from me. I'm trying to make sure I run my jackets to the ground before I get new ones. But I, there was just something about this color for me that was perfect. And I love the black detailing with the buttons. Turtleneck, leather trousers, boots, and a cute bag that's gonna go with this. I'm about to show it to you. It's gonna go perfectly. But this coat gives me expensive. It gives me you deserve. And I got this in an extra small to small. So yeah, if you're smaller than me, I think that there needs to be an extra, extra small because this is still quite big on me and I'm like a small to medium. So I'm thinking anyone who's like an extra small, this might be a bit big for you, babe. Love, love, love. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show the cutaways of how it fits. I love the tie around. I love the buttons. I love how it's puffy at the sleeves. It just gives me expensive. And I think it was quite expensive. I don't remember it being that cheap, but mango coats. I have, I've got them, I've got some still from last year. They've been amazing to me, not a single complaint, not a single problem. So I will be buying more jackets from Mango. And now on to Zara, let's open this package. Can I just say firstly that Zara are knocking it out of the park to the point where I'm trying to really avoid going on the website because I can't, I'm in bondage with them already, but like I just need to watch on my spending. I've spent enough in this haul, right? I, I really avoid watching any hauls and I really encourage other people to stop. We need to, we need to, we need to watch hauls, okay? Watch mine. <laughs> watch mine, okay? But like, be careful watching Zara hauls. Like I did my splurge, I spent my money on there and I'm gonna avoid it for a very long time because I can't keep, I can't keep buying clothes, especially if I'm trying to be sustainable. I can't keep on buying. I need to buy key pieces that will take me through autumn, winter. You're just gonna see me alternate between these clothes because I'm not buying anymore. That's it for me for now. <laughs> so the first thing I bought, you guys probably, if you guys shop in Zara, you guys have already seen this. These are some like flared trousers with a rip. They just screamed my name, period. Uh, I've got these in a size. What size was this? Europe 38. I believe that's a 10 or is that an eight? I think that's a 10. But anyway, they fit amazing. They fit very comfortable on the leg. I think these would look amazing with either heels or trainers. I'm not the biggest fan of rips, but with these, I can appreciate them. Yeah, you guys know I love a flare on, the, on a trouser, on a jean, whatever, I'm here for it. So yeah, that was my first purchase from them. Very happy with the purchase. And yeah, Zara do really good jeans, so. Next thing I got from them was this woolly jumper it's not that thick but i'm okay with it not being that thick because i would rather just layer with something like this once again it's in the same color scheme as the hoodie i got and the checkered uh, shirt i got from weekday i just think that I just love this colour. This colour will always scream something to me and I just think it looks really nice on me. I love the turtleneck. I love that it's not too thick. If you want something really thick, this probably won't be it. But if you like to layer like I do with coats, especially my, imagine my coat with this. I think I could even wear them with the jeans and like white trainers. Oh wait, I could, I could do something with this. And then throw on like chains with the jump part oh, wait listen get on my wave get on my wave okay so next thing i got isn't quite autumnal but it's very like party season like i really really love this top it's 29.99 very happy with it i got it in a small and i like how it goes in at the waist and then right back out it's very pe peplum oh it's got like a mark on here oh no Oh no, I might need to exchange that actually. But yeah, I really like this top. Very stretchy as well, so you could definitely size down with this. Love, love, love. Uh, I don't know where I'm going right now because of COVID restrictions, but at least I know I'll be cute. And like, this is a piece that you can wear all, all year long. Summer, winter, autumn, like. Next, I got this cute 
top from Zara once again. It's like off the shoulder. I love off the shoulders. It's really flattering on me. And it goes in at the waist and it's nice and thick and still like cute but still autumnal. Uh, maybe not best for winter but definitely for autumn or fall if you guys are watching from America or other parts of the world. All my pieces I just make sure I can layer with because I just hate being too hot. If I'm too cold, layer up. If I'm too hot, take off. You know, I like the option. I've been really liking cream, sages, all of that. I'm trying to bring more colour to my wardrobe and not just wear black all the time, which I love doing. Sorry, I just got a whiff of the perfume again. Oh, it smells so good. I want to smell. I just want to spray more. I'm not even going anywhere. I'm really trying to buy some boots, but my next purchase from Netta Porter. This one is a serious one. This one is a reason why I'm not buying any more clothes until like next year. Just did a bad thing. <laughs> I regret the thing I did. I don't, I don't regret it. Ooh, this is my favorite piece of all of them. Let's do, I've got an actual proper unboxing. I might just do on the side, but I'm gonna just show you the bag, okay? <laughs> I love this piece. I'm not even joking to you. It's still a bit heavy because I've got some stuff in it. I've already been using it. So this is a Fendi canvas tote bag. I've been in need for a tote bag so, so bad. Um, I actually have, let me show you guys. I actually have one from Laura Mercier. This was actually from Gifting. And I've had this for possibly like seven to eight months. And I've been wanting like an older rich auntie bag, like the older sis. I've been on the hunt and I wanted something that looked like it, but just better. And I love the Christian Dior tote bags, but they're just too expensive. They're just like, I couldn't reason the price of what I got with them. So I saw the Fendi bag and I just love the detailing. I love the gold studs at the back to make sure that if I ever put the bag down, it's not touching the bag. I love the Fendi in front. I love the color. Like guys, this is my color. My coat I showed you guys from Mango. I got, I bought the coat before I bought this. And then when I saw the bag, I was like, oh my God, this is, this is my wardrobe. This is my tote bag. Like I've been wearing this bag. In my next few vlogs, you're gonna see this bag everywhere. That's how I like to use my bags. I like to run my bags, not to the ground, but I really like to make sure I get my use and my money's worth out of them because they're not cheap. So I wanna make sure that you know, my bags are put to use. So, oh, this is gonna give someone anxiety, um, but the way I've just got stuff in my bag, okay. It's got the little pouch over there, right here, and then this detailing, let me put my bag up here. I can just pull this, which are the strings, on the bag, just to make sure my bag properly closes, which I've already done, actually. So then if I want to have it, make sure I have it closed, I can just push it in, like so. Oops. And usually when it's really, really heavy, it will go down because there's nothing in it. It's quite light. And it's really sturdy, it stays up, it stays put on. <laughs> I'm looking at the viewfinder, this is so pretty. Um, I love this for traveling, I love this when I've got a busy day and I need to put a lot of things in it. I just, <laughs> bag and I've been eyeing it for a few months and the opportunity I was just like you know what I'm gonna treat myself I've been working hard I'm a working lady so I deserve a new bag I need to I just need to find a room for it in my room but I'll make one it fits right on top of my suitcases when I'm traveling very very sturdy lots of lots of compliments on it and yeah She's so pretty. That's my baby, that's my bag now. Okay, I'm gonna wear it to the end. I'm trying to build a collection of proud bags that I really, really love and proud of, and then one day I can pass it down to like my sons or daughters. Maybe not pass it down, maybe I'll, maybe I'll let them borrow it or something. <laughs> I'm joking, I'll probably do a bit of both. Nieces and nephews, if they wanna go in my wardrobe, they can come in my wardrobe. Oh, I can't wait to do that. I just hope they have my taste, because if they don't, then like, I've been hoarding clothes for my sons and daughters for ages. And yeah, if they don't like any of my style, this is that's gonna be really awkward. But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys really, really liked it. Let me know what your favorite pieces are. Let me know what you like. I'm trying to be really nice because I've spent my money now. So don't make me, don't say negative things so I can actually see them differently. I wanna return them and play in. Anywho, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye, thanks for watching.